Hi, I'm Lars Timmer, Business Development Manager at Astar. Industrial automation requires process controlled systems and stations to operate and monitor them in hazardous areas. Today, I will show you how quickly our start send clients can be integrated into a DCS and what benefits our new remote HMI firmware offer you. Because so many controlled systems and protocols are in use across the industry, compatibility is a central concern when picking an operator station. That's why our remote HMI firmware support all the latest RDP, VNC, KVM over IP and PC over IP protocols to give you a full compatibility with all modern control systems. Our firmware is secure, simple and reliable. As closed system with an implemented user management, our firmware is based on the latest Windows 10 version. The firmware is simple and intuitive to use with a smartly designed user experience. Due to Ethernet redundancy, automatic reconnection and many other features. The possible benefits range from remote process visualization and plant management to virtual server structures and cloud-based applications. Over flexible access from any HMI to any virtual or real workstation within the same network and simple, effective security to RFID readers. All the way to secure access for third-party applications and a wide range of display options like multi-sessions and dual screen views. With that being said, I'm going to show you how quick it is to add a SYNC client to your DCS using our remote HMI firmware. Start by pressing the F8 function key or the F8 menu button. This opens the dashboard. From here, open the network register. Find the Internet Protocol v4 section over here. Enter the IP address intended for your client network. Make sure that RDP is enabled on your client PC. Alternatively, if your network is controlled by a DHCP server, you can simply switch on auto config via DHCP with this button. Now open the address book register. Pressing add will let you enter a name for the connection, the server address and the protocol type, as well as a few optional features to choose from. Applying the changes will activate the server. And that's it. You're done. Now you know how to choose an operator station that will really drive your plant's performance and how to get it running. If you'd like to know what that would look like in your plant, get in touch with us. Our experts are happy to talk about the finer details. Until then, have a good time.